my channel i do hope you're doing well my lovelies we are in december oh my god now the reason that we are um in this setup is because i haven't yet changed my bed and i can't be doing a december video when i still got my november bedding on so for the next two videos you will be seeing the tree as a background and sneak peek this is what's coming up in the next video so i do hope you're uh, looking forward to it let me know where you think it's from it's a beauty ain't it it's an absolute beauty i've worn this to work today because it's the first of december and i'm like you know what i'm getting all festive i'm getting all in the festive spirit but this bag is so full of festivities that I physically couldn't lift it for a thumbnail. So as you would have seen, I kind of just balanced it on my chair and done a little like, woo because it's way too heavy. And you may notice a little person sticking out the top. So Shannon Lee, can you believe you're about to say this? We've come to the end of an era again. This is the last Home Bargains haul of 2022. That makes me so blooming sad. But roll on for the bargains of next year <laughs> right so i think i'm going to put you like there on an angle because i don't want to keep having my head in front of the camera when i'm trying to pick stuff out the bag so we're gonna go with this now i know last month we ended with a new edition but i think we're gonna start because he's uh he's holding well pretty much climbing out of the bag this is our new family polar bear so if you remember last month we picked up a reindeer went back this time and i really wanted the polar bear i don't want to get too near him because i don't want to put my makeup on him but this guy is so cute i mean can you see him he's a fair good size isn't he he was 14 pound you could get him with a little red hat or a green hat i remember but i wanted like just silver and i keep catching my nail i don't know what's up with it but i thought we'd go for silver because if i remember correctly the donkey not the donkey the reindeer the reindeer had red scarf i think so i didn't want like two things with the same so yeah 14 quid i don't think these are too bad because these i mean god knows where we're going to store them after i don't think we've got a box big enough for you but they just could be very very cute and I saw it and I just couldn't say no. It was either that or I come away with like the, um, it was an illuminated like four foot wobbling gonk. I know I love gonks, but mum was like, Shan, if you're going to get something, because I know you're going to go and get something, no more gonks for the moment because there's no space. So if you're going to get something, try and get something different. So I've got a polar bear to add to the family. However, I still didn't fully listen when she said no gonks because I saw this this was i think four or five pound look it's a little gonk reef and he's got his little dangly legs i love this this is so so rustic so it says merry christmas it's got a little bit of like snow flock tree and a little bauble either side and he is so cute he's got his little gray sockies on and his red fair old hat i just i couldn't when i saw it i know mum said no more gonks i was just like technically it's not a gonk it's a reef so i mean it might just so happen to be a reef with a gonk on it but how cute is that actually how cute is that you're far cuter than me at the moment because i keep catching myself in the viewfinder and i'm like shane you need to try and turn a bit darling because this is not my angle okay you know everyone has their side i don't feel this is my side right about now but this is just filled with everything and everything of course you don't think we're going to have a home bargains haul the home bargains haul to round out 2022 and not have any snacks but i have tried to fit healthy snacks i probably pick these up i would say august september time and they are hula hoops but they are puffed puffed and they are six grilled beef wheat and potato rings so they kind of give me the consistency of like a quaver six packs for a pan i saw them i have started getting really snacky i mean i know it is the season to be jolly but i think my jolliness needs to be reined in i mean tomorrow wow no not tomorrow when will you see this i think this is going up friday saturday you've got a haul and then sunday's the first week of vlogmas oh my god how blooming exciting i know right um yes i cannot absolutely wait for you to see vlogmas and you will see that i've kind of been overindulging i mean i'm giving myself 
half a stone to put on over the Christmas period, which you're probably thinking, Shan, you lost, what did I lose? Two stone two in six months. Oh, sorry, bag. I put four pounds on over holiday, but I have lost them. Um, it took me about three weeks. I managed to lose the four pounds. I haven't really weighed myself since like early November, but I'm not going to put any judgment on. I want to enjoy my Baileys. I want to enjoy my mulled wine. I want to enjoy my food. Come the new year, though, I will be getting my tush back into gear and we shall see how it goes. But yes, I thought that it was a really, really nice alternative. Now, there's, there's a lot of random bits. I'm not going to lie. I just kind of got a bit swept up. We've got a pack of 10 sponges. We all know Mama G loves her sponges. These are under a pound. I want to say 79 89p. I know they're definitely under a quid, but they're actually really hard to get hold of. The past few times when I've had to go for Mama, I've had to get like the four packs. But yeah, I saw them, so I snatched them up. And I'll tell you what I did snatch up. You know, this is probably like one of the best things to come out of home bargains this year. Look at that. We have a can of Flavita. I have not been able to get this for a while. And if you don't know what Flavita is, it is a flavoured sparkling water. However, please don't be put off because when people think of sparkling water, they might think a bit meh. It's not. It's basically like a clear strawberry Fanta. It's not so much a carbonated water taste. It is more like just a fizzy drink, to be honest. So, yeah, please don't be put off by that. Ooh. <laughs> You know, when you're just looking and I'm like, oh my goodness. This is why I shouldn't be allowed in bargain shops on my own. I mean, any time of the year, but especially at Christmas time. Because I just get a bit carried away. So, I don't know who I think I am. I've bought another doormat. Even though we don't need another doormat. We've got a doormat at the front door. And you can't see the back doormat. Because we've had to put the ottoman in there to get a little bit of space. So, this is potentially just going to go in for next year. And we can maybe alternate them. But these are £2.50, my lovelies, from Home Bargains. And it says Santa's Little Helper. I love that. They had loads of these. And when I say the bargain shops know how to do things right, some doormats that I have seen in shops are five, six pounds, just for the same material of that. I wouldn't mind if it was like the, you know, like the thick bristly bits and bobs. But yeah, just for that style, five, six quid. That's like £2.50. Go and grab yourself a bargain. There's a lot of stuff in here I want to grab. And I'm just like, where do I even begin? Crisps. I was so happy when I found these. My lovelies. Oh my God, this could be the last time I say it for 2022. <gasps> right. Here, oh God, I'm even knocking me hair. I was that excited. Here we have a share bag, aka a Shannon bag, because Shannon doesn't share her snacks. That is never getting old. That's coming into 2023 with me as well, my lovelies. But I managed to pick up giant monster munch, pickled onion. I am partial to roast beef. They didn't have any. However, do you ever see the grab bags in Flaming Hot? Because I am quite partial. I don't really like spicy things, but I do love a Flaming Hot. Kind of gives me like Cheeto vibes. But yeah, saw that and oh, if I if I've said that for the last time this year, I'm gonna be very, very sad. Well, they're probably all crushed now, Shan, because you've just chucked them on the floor. But yeah, I am um, don't share food. And you'll probably notice if you think that some of my sayings, oh she'll forget about them in the new year. No. No, 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 no. They have been with me from the beginning and they are gonna be with me right till the very end. I mean, hey ho, that's just me. That is just me. But I tell you what is just Mama G. I picked her up some Reese's bits and bobs because we all know she blooming loves her peanut butter, didn't she? So these are two king size trees, and these were one pound twenty, if I remember correctly. You do pay a little bit more for the American branded, but they are still a hell of a lot cheaper if you used to go into a supermarket or, God forbid, an American candy store because. I know in London they have one called Kingdom of Sweets. They add the prices on ridiculously. But yeah, Home Bargains and B&M, they are your best places to go for like your American candy. So yeah, I picked mum up. I think I got her a few bits because I like to put them in her Christmas Eve box. Like some nice chockies and everything like that, you know? Now, 
I've got a bone to pick with cup noodles, all right? So these are £1.20 now. They used to be 99p, they're £1.20. And they are cup noodles katsu curry. Now, if you remember throughout the year, I have loved these. The packaging used to be like um, a Japanese background and it used to have like the number one noodles. They've slightly changed the recipe and I don't know how I feel about it. I still picked one up because they're handy to have in for lunch. But I like my noodles thick. This style, they've changed it. It's not like a thick noodle anymore. It's a ramen style noodle. So you have to put surplus water in. So when I had it last week because I needed something in lunch, I went and got one. This is actually a repurchase. I ended up having to do it, mix it, and then drain all the water out and basically just have, like, dry noodles. But when you used to have the old one, you'd have, like, a thick katsu curry sauce. So if anyone knows why Nissin Cup noodles have changed their style to a ramen style, please do let me know. Because, as I say, they've gone up 20p and I feel the flavour's gone down. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but... We shall see, okay? We shall see. Oh, I tell you what, ain't an unpopular opinion. I really like these. Got one last month. I think it was in golden syrup, though. This is just an original ready-to-eat ambrosia porridge. Guys, you bung this in the microwave. I think it's for, like, is it 30 seconds? 30 seconds, stir, and then another 40. Leave for a minute. These are genius. When, like, I don't fancy the snack man, which I'm not going to lie... I've had snack man nearly every morning for the past two weeks at work, but it's because it's been so cold. I just want some warm pastry, like a nice bacon sarnie to wake me up. So that's probably where my half stone's going to go because I'm sitting there stuffing my face snack man. But for the days when like, this is kind of maybe an 11s snack. When I'm thinking, oh, I'm a bit peckish. It's not quite lunchtime yet. Have a little pot of custard. Um, I would, however, probably mix custard. Did I just say have a pot of custard? You did, didn't you? No, you'd have a pot of porridge, Shan. I mean, I would be partial to a pot of custard as well. I love anything like sweet like that. And also, this is an old school classic. Let me know if you eat this down below. You used to get it in the cans, Ambrosia. Tabioca. Or as I used to call it, frog spawn. But you know what? That is tasty frog spawn. I can sit there and eat it cold out of the tin... Or mum would normally heat it up to it. It all goes like pop, 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 pop. Now I really feel like I need to go and get a tin of tabioca tomorrow on my lunch break. I might just have to do that. I might just have to do that, you know. Right, we've got a lot of... Oh, God, I, I forgot I got half of this. Let's... Uh, what's this in a box? Ah! So I got this for mum's present. Another one of her little baubles to go in the uh, tree. This was £3, if I believe, two ninety nine, And they had granddaughter, daughter, um, mum, brother, dad, granddad, everything like that. But I got mum a big bauble, mum in a million. I was looking for one for Dada. They had one, but it was cracked at the side. So I couldn't get Dada one, but I have got him one. I think it was last year. A giant black one from Matalan, I'm going to say. And it says Dad in a Million. So, they kind of got matching now. You know, kind of got matching. Oh, thank you. Dry shampoo. Because my hair has been living off dry shampoo. <laughs> you will see in the first week of Vlogmas. If you look at the title, you're going to think, what on earth has she done? It might all look fine and dandy here. There is some dramas that have been going on with my hair. Let me tell you that. So, um, yeah. Dry shampoo has been an absolute godsend. One pound. I'm not going to lie. You probably have to use a good third of the can to get a reaction from it and for it actually to work. But it smells nice. And for a quid, I don't think you can go wrong because Batiste is going up to like, I think, five, five fifty now. That is way too much money. I might as well just wash my hair. Might as well just actually wash my hair and like be done with it, Shan, you know? Now, I saw these and I just could not not pick them up. These were, however, oh, five pound. Oh my goodness, did I just break something? But if you know someone who loves the Grinch, guys, just look at them. I don't think they're going to be knee highs, but they're going to come far up. And they also have little suckers on the bottom. So you're not going to have slippy slidey feet these i'm sure they was about four or five pound because they had a whole grinch section 
pajamas, hoodies, slippers, the whole lot. But I just saw these and I was like, oh my god, yes, I need you. And I'm kind of thinking like, what Christmas PJs can I wear with it? I'm thinking like a big Christmas night shirt. These are very good. So if you do know anyone who loves the gonk, oh my God, loves the gonk, loves the cringe, I would say definitely head to Primark and Home Bargains because Primark's selection for the Grinch at the park, I've never seen so much Grinch merchandise in my entire life in Primark. Even to the point there's stuff for dogs and cats. Like there's a pet section. I mean, I'm all here for it. I don't have any pets. I did say the other day that I would really like to get mum a micro pig for when I leave. Not that I'm leaving yet, but yeah. Can you even buy micro pigs? I don't know. I don't know if you can. But um, yeah, we'll give it a go. If you know we can buy a micro pig, leave um, some details down below. Or if you think, Shan, you absolutely cannot buy a micro pig, still let me know so I can kind of get that idea out of my head, let's just say. Did we need this? No. Did I see it and just get carried away? Yes. I mean, I know I got one last month and I think I've got some from B&M as well. But hey ho, this was £1.20 and it's just the little plastic hand wash. These are so cute just for the kitchen, the bathroom. I get suckered in and if I see something, I'm like, oh, I think I got Santa last month. I'm like, oh, there's a snowman. I need that in my life. Considering there's only two sinks in the house and I've probably got about five <laughs> Christmas hand washes for it, but who's gonna, we're not gonna moan, are we? We're not gonna moan. Oh, another dry shampoo. Another dry shampoo indeed. This one is the Flamingo one. Coconut, exotic coconut, 99p. Absolutely love it. And I'll tell you what I have been loving. I got one last month. Woo! I normally get the alcoholic versions of these, I'm not going to lie, but I saw this and I thought we'll go with it. It's a Slush Puppy Original Sour Cherry Flavour Slushy. So if you haven't seen these before, the alcoholic ones that I normally get, I think are called Parrot Bay and it's all cocktails. And you basically put them in the freezer. How long do they actually tell you to put it in for? That's what I would like to know. Freeze for at least four hours and then defrost for 25 minutes at room temperature if the pouch is frozen solid. And it is literally, squeeze it out, you've got your own daiquiri. Obviously not with this one, this is an alcohol-free one. I mean, I'm probably going to be consuming too much alcohol, so I can't be having alcohol slushes as well. But yeah, if you know anyone, I'll tell you what, I saw a slush puppy machine the other day in Tesco. I think it was down to like 40 quid for a club card. Do you know the urge not to buy that? Do you know the temptation to not just put that in my trolley and think, sod it, I'm going to get a cab home. It was only for the fact that I didn't have the car. I had a slow walk down, which you'll see in Vlogmas. And um, I thought, I can't, I can't carry back a slush puppy machine. <laughs> not with two huge bags of shopping as well. I was like, oopsie. But yeah, I would love a slush puppy machine when I move out. I'd absolutely love it. It's just fun, isn't it? I mean... Who wants to grow up? Who actually wants to grow up, eh? Oh, more bits for mum. I got her some white trees. Again, king size. These would have been £1.20. So she's got the normal chocolate and the white chocolate. She can't moan at that. I think she still actually has some of her cups that I got her for Easter. She needs to eat them because otherwise she's just going to be uh, slacking on her Reese's front, isn't she? And what can I... Because looking at the... I'm rabbiting away and I what can I end the first part on should we do something practical I mean I know she said to me don't get any more but I did buy another hand wash my lovelies <laughs> and it is the um is it cousins yeah cousins Christmas dashing through the snow if you remember last month I picked up the body wash of it oh my god it says cinnamon sugar and winter sparkles but I don't know what winter sparkles is but what I do know is that it's blooming tasty. It's good enough to eat. I wouldn't, definitely do not advise ingesting that because you could get very poorly and we don't want that, do we? I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rearrange myself because I feel like I'm getting slowly surrounded and there's not going to be enough room on here to get everything out because we've got quite a bit in there. We've still got um, quite a lot of things that you're probably going to shout at me for. Let's just say that. So, um, yeah. Let's get into the second part. <laughs> All right. Are you comfy? Are you ready? Yeah. So, did I need this? No. 
did I see it and want it? Yes, this was a £10 and it is a huge, gorgeous white throw with grey snowflakes on. I just love this. It's 1.5 metres by 2 metres, so it is a really large one. I think it's probably on par with the sizes that you get from HomeSense and TK Maxx, you know. And this was £9, under a tenner. I think it was around 8 9-ish, definitely under a tenner. But yeah, I just thought that was quite nice because I was trying to think... What bedding do I have for my Christmas month? So the only one that I can remember is a penguin one. However, when I was looking back over hauls from last year, I must have like a brush cotton snowflake one. And it's grey with white snowflakes. This is white with grey snowflakes. So I thought these could uh, go hand in hand, you know. We shall see, as I say. You're here for the next couple of videos because I haven't got around to actually doing my bed. When you watch the first episode of Vlogmas on Sunday, my lovelies, you will realise how chaotic this first, the first week of Vlogmas is always so blooming chaotic. And also, I'm not going to lie, it's so long. The first week of Vlogmas will always be the longest vlog out of all five. We do five weeks of Vlogmas over on this channel. You're looking already... I haven't even finished editing and it's already at three and a half hours. I need to cut that right back because no one wants to be sitting there through that. I like to try and normally get them down to about two, two and a half max. I mean, the holiday vlogs were long enough. Can the Christmas ones top it? I think they might do that first week. I think it's going to be. But there's a lot of me and mum yakking and it's stuff that we need to yak about so it's not even like i can cut it out it's stuff like i'll show you what we buy at the ideal christmas home show which oh my god was amazing um and yeah i rabbit on for like half an hour on that showing you everything that we've got and all of that jazz so yeah i'm a little bit um a little bit sorry about the first length of vlogmas in advance okay just thought i'd let you know what have we got here? Something. Oh, God, I'm smashing bits. You can hear by that I've bought something that you're going to be shouting at me at. Mum wanted some bleach. So I picked up the easy, seriously thick bleach. This one was, I think, 79 because it's seriously thick. But I liked it because it was white. The pinks and yellows was not really my winter vibe. So I thought a classic white snow, ain't it? That will look quite nice under the kitchen sink. I mean... Do you ever go under the kitchen sink? No. Not going to lie. I really don't. Um, unless I'm doing a bit of cleaning in my room. But I would never go down there for the bleach. So, I'm thinking of Mama G there. I'm thinking to keep her in the festive spirit, you know. Right. Home bargains. That glass range. Immense. These are hand painted and they are two ninety nine each. And I like this one. It says up to snow good, up to snow good. It's got all candy canes on, and these remind me. I think they are called Campianos. It was an old sweet you used to get in the nineties. Strawberries and cream. Oh my god, I absolutely loved them. And then on the stem, it comes down. It's gone round and round like a candy cane, and then you have gold glitter along the base. 2.99 now if you go to a garden center and they have like a gift shop section and a lot of them do have like hand painted glasses you will pay a hell of a lot more for something like that so i they may be better quality but for me and mum we're quite clumsy <laughs> you may not have noticed that about us i need to get comfy and this bag is annoying me already um you might not have noticed but me and mum are quite clumsy so i don't really want to be spending like 10 15 20 quid on some of them that i've seen for glasses when three quid i could be done i'm happy done and dusted right <laughs> i got something for dada so we all know i love a festive hat and we all know Dada da doesn't. So I saw this one and I thought, I, ju I just can't not get it. First off, it's black and white. Okay, so Newcastle. He is a Geordie. And then when it comes down, look, it says Bar Humbug. I just thought that was the most funniest thing. Should I try and put it on? I just thought this was the most funniest thing. I've not even put it on right, have I? I don't want to get makeup on it because then you'll know that I've um, tried it on. But yeah. Bar humbug. I don't think I'm going to get a photo of him Christmas Day with his um, Christmas jumper that I bought him and his hat. 
I don't think he'll send me that because I think it might be a rude photo with maybe a middle finger up at me. But hey ho, I don't actually know where my hats are this year. This is what I say to mum. I don't think she fully got out all of the Christmas bits. There's got to be some more in the shed. Like I used to have Santa hats and I had a really, really old hat from like when I was an absolute child that had pigtails in it. We've got my Shannon Lee stocking. That's the most important thing. That's like, that for me is like my blankie at Christmas. That is tradition there and then. But I need to find my Santa's hat. So I don't quite know where they have gone, to be honest. But yeah, I think this was £2.50. I'm going to say £1.99, £2.50. So if you do know someone who's a little bit of a Scrooge, aka Dada, then that actually, that would be quite a fit for quite a lot of people in my workplace as well. Because they're quite a few Scrooges, especially the guys. But hey ho, hey ho. This is the first of a few, okay? These are £1.80 each. And it is the return of the Glade Festive Spice Candles. And you know, I think I got these last year from Wilco's. Candy cane. Oh, just come at me, baby. Oh my God, this is amazing. Just douse me and all that candy cane goodness. Guys, number one, I love the packaging of this. Do you remember this? This is a traditional packaging from last year. But the scent of it... If you know someone who loves candy canes like me, I will sleep, eat, breathe, drink, whatever candy canes right about now. It's gorgeous. It's almost like a candy cane ice cream because it's got a vanilla scent in it as well. It's only a single wick. It's not like a double wick or a triple. It's just a single wick. But yeah, £1.80. I saw it. I had to get it. Also picked up some cling film. See, we go from uh, such Christmas vibes to just basic every day. Under a pound. I'm going to say about 80p because we got quite a bit from the butchers. So it's better to wrap them in cling film than tinfoil so you can actually see what it is. I don't think there's anything more annoying than when, like, mum sometimes wraps stuff in tinfoil and you try and open it and then the tinfoil all rips out and you're like, and you still don't know what's in it because it all just looks like the same. Gobbledygook. Oh, I picked these up for Dada. Wine gum juices. These were a pound. I thought this can go in his little food hamper because every year, I mean, he has got his main present, which I will probably tell you more about nearer Christmas. Um, but I do like to do like a little food hamper. So I get him like maybe some sauces and spices and herbs and everything like that. Sweets, crisps, all the good stuff, you know, all the blooming good stuff. <laughs> you're really gonna laugh when you see this this was in the kids section but i did actually pick it up for mum i picked it up for a little um christmas eve box these are one pound but oh my goodness look at that it's a little anti-bag that you can clip on it's strawberry scented and i just i couldn't not get that i think i've got her ones before with her initial one but yeah, guys, look at that. That is so blooming cute. Really gives me like Bath and Body Works vibes. Really Bath and Body Works vibes. But like the child that I am, I walk down the child aisle, I see it, and I don't think for me, I'm like, oh my God, Mama G would love that. She would blooming love that. And then I end up getting it for mum. End up getting it for mum, and well, the rest is history, eh? Another thing I've got for mum, got some more tea towels. You will see in Vlogmas, ow, that we had the gingerbread ones out that we got last month, but mum will not use them. She is so worried about using them. She don't want to get them dirty, you see. So I thought, you know what, let's just switch it up. We'll still probably not use them, but hey-ho. <laughs> These are £4, and it is a two-pack of tea towels. We have one, have a cracking Christmas, and then we have a green one, which I love. I absolutely love this. So I think it might be a case of maybe taking off the gingerbread now and putting these on. I mean, the gingerbread have not been used because she didn't want to get them dirty. They're just like decoration tea towels, didn't they? Does anyone else have decoration tea towels or like just something that is in the kitchen that is only there for display? It's not there to be used. And if anyone goes to use it, you're like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. That is just for the aesthetic purpose, eh? The aesthetic person. Now, oh, you're a bit battered, but I don't care. Guys, I've got more candy canes. Because I've kind of gone through all of mine before. One pound. One pound for just normal peppermint flavoured candy canes. You get 12. 12 for a quid. Can't go wrong. Cannot 
go wrong let me tell you that i love them and from the comments before a lot of you are actually candy cane lovers see now i don't really know many people oh the poor polar bear's just fallen you're all right mate uh, I don't know many people who do like candy canes so when I was reading your comments and you're like candy cane yes candy cane yes I'm like yes we're all twinning with our candy canes here aren't we hi my name is Shannon I need to stock up on all things festive spice so I've got another candle <laughs> <laughs> I got the Glade Mold Berries and Wine again, £1.80. This is a returning favourite from last year. Now I want mold wine. I might have to make myself some mold wine. Oh, I just love that. Absolutely love it. And I can't remember the other one they do. Why do I feel like it's in a three? But I feel like the other one might be like tree or like fir pine. I'm not. Mm. I like going in and smelling a real tree, like when you go in the garden centres, but I don't think I'd want that scent in my home, you know? If you have a real tree, though, let me know, how do they fare to real and fake? Can you bend a real tree as good as you can bend a fake tree? You know, like position it to put your ball balls in that in. Let me know down below, please. I've got mum some more mug shots. She was running low, bless her, so we got her three chicken and mushroom. These are three for £1.20 now, guys. Used to be three for a quid, but hey ho, tough time. So I'm putting them all up slowly. And then I've got her three roast chicken pastas. So she's got some noodles and she's got some pastas. I am on the hunt because guess what they didn't have? You know what I'm going to say? They did not have any more Christmas dinner. No more Christmas dinner pasta mug shots. Look at that lip. I'm very, very sad. I'm going to be on the hunt for them because if I cannot find them and at least get another 20 to do me throughout the year, I should actually get about 50, 52, one a week. And even that, that's being strict one a week. I need to get more. Definitely need to go out and try and find more because can't control myself, cannot control myself. Now, I'll tell you what I couldn't control myself with. Drinks and everything's just dropping. I picked up six cans of Lucasade Zero, and these are tropical, if I remember correctly. Yeah, six cans for two pound. They're normal size cans. You know, I got charged one pound fifty for a can of Fanta the other day when I went out to lunch. One pound fifty for a can that on the side said "Do not sell separately." It's daylight robbery. I will sound like a broken record again, but you need to get it in before the end of the year, Shan. If you go to a bargain shop, my lovelies, and do not pick up the drinks, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because you can save yourself a fortune. Please don't be like me, paying £1 blue and 50 for a Fanta, just because I wanted it because my noodles were a bit spicy. But, you know, whoo, oh my goodness. Right, I'm just going to, yeah, I've hit the camera and I'm just going to let that drop because the nail is hanging on by a wing of prayer. If you have seen monthly favourites. Oh, we've gone very overexposed. Look at my wrinkly hand. Come on, Cannon. <laughs> there we go. If you saw the monthly favourites, I almost whoo, ripped my nail clean off. That is why we are hanging on with a wing and a prayer. So I have to be very, very careful, let me tell you that. And then on the theme of like Lucas A, I I picked up a couple of energy drinks. I've got some um, Red Bulls though. I do love a good Red Bull, I'm not going to lie. A watermelon and a tropical. These are £1 each. And I'm thinking these would be really nice because I've actually got out a candy cane gin. And I'm thinking these could potentially be a really nice mixer. So, I mean, I haven't cracked open the gin just yet. It's still sitting out there with the Baileys. But it's always good. If I've got the mixers, I'm much more inclined to then open the bottle and pour it down my neck, to be perfectly honest. To be perfectly honest with you. Did I need any more of these? No. Did I see them and want them? Yes, my lovelies. We have 18 gingerbread tea lights for 99p. Oh, and they smell divine. You know what? I actually need to change all my tea lights. That could maybe be a task for tonight. Now I have got my new tea lights. We'll get out all the old ones. Get out the old ones and put them in with the new ones, eh? Let's have a look. What have we got in here? We've got quite a selection oh 50p 50p i rave about these all year round 750 mil for 50p 
These are a dupe of Powerade. Or if you're from America, Gatorade, I'm going to say. Guys, Oshi. Oshia? Oshi? Try them. Absolutely try them because I blooming love them. Absolutely love them. They are perfect. More for summer. But that's still actually really nice to mix with like a plain gin. Just as like a little bit of a refreshment, you know? A little bit of a refresher on the palate. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um... Right, oh, picked up a garlic. 49p Kerala. You know with these, my lovelies, they have so many. It's all spices, herbs. Do not be paying the prices for, like, Schwartz and stuff like that. 49p, yes, please. I will know things are getting tough when they go up from 49p. If I start going in there next year and they're, like, 69, 79, 89, 99, I'm going to have to speak. I'm going to sound like mum now. I'm going to speak to Mr. Kerala and be like, what are you doing? You need to be 49p. That's how you're competing. Because I will just buy you up in bulk, you know. Fingers crossed that they um, don't change price at all. These aren't really Christmassy, but mum needed some wipes. These are, I've had these before, I think. By the brand Sense Aroma Disinfectant Wipes. 80 wipes for a pound. But, do you see that? Ain't it like Fabulosa vibes? They all look so the same. And you know what? You're probably thinking, you've done a Christmas haul, but you haven't got like a Fabulosa or a Zaflora. Right. Probably a very unpopular opinion. I don't like Zaflora's new packaging. And I definitely don't like Zaflora's new pricing. Um, We went through the cupboard the other night and we still have quite a few, like, remember the old cinnamon and orange and winter morning? We've still got some of them down there. So we're going to run them down. I said, I'm not going to buy stuff if we don't need it like all of this stuff we will need you might not think we need a giant polar bear but i think we do like it's food and we've got decorations and cleaning products and candles it is stuff that we will need um and i didn't want to just buy the florist because some of them were three pound and yeah i just really i think they've come away from when i look at the packaging of Sephora where we've got them it's very much like colorful and scenery and everything like that and now it's kind of for the aesthetic. It's the white background. And I'm like, I don't know if I like that. I think at Christmas, you should have all the colours. From September, you should have all the colours. But what do I know? Angie, what do I know? Got another couple of energy drinks. Oh, well, not energy drinks. What's this one? Hold on a minute. Oh, right. So this I got last month, I think, in birthday cake. I really like these. They're the Liquid Candy Shop Sparkling Bubblegum Soft Drink. Again, it's not a carbonate sparkling water. It is more like a Fanta style because it's just got that fizz. There's no, like, tang of a sparkling water that sometimes you have. These are, I'm going to say, 89p. Definitely under a quid. But, yeah, I like the packaging as well. I think the packaging is really cool. Oh, no, can't go with that. Can't do that because I might be sitting here and a can might fall on my head and give me concussion. Okay? And then I picked this up. And this is Bra Energy. Orange Citrus Energy Drink. I think this was maybe £1.20. But the packaging just really sold it to me. This is like a proper energy drink. So I don't quite know when I'm going to have it. Because I made the mistake the other night of having an energy drink before bed. And then you know what happened. I couldn't sleep. So I was just like, well, that was an absolute disaster. Hi, my name is Shannon, and I have many addictions in life, including cups and mugs. But I just could not, not pick that up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, what fun. And the gingerbread's 3D, guys. Can you see that? He sticks out. They had so many of these. When I say so many, I think there was like a baby blue, a pink one, a white one. Was there a green one? There was quite a few. And I was like, I really, really, really wanted them all. But I thought, no, I'll get one. I shall just get one. And these were $2.99. Not the cheapest of mugs, but again, a very good quality mug. I do feel for that. And then should we get the drink out of the way? Let's just say 49p for a can of bit of shandy. We do love to have a shandy in this household, especially at Christmas, because that's what Nana G used to like. She used to like a bit of shandy. And so many of you was telling me about this. And when I went in there, I only saw the original. And I was like, excuse me. I've heard uh, through the grapevine that you do a gingerbread mulled wine. And the woman was like, oh, yeah, I'll see if we've got any out the back. She came out, she was like, it's the last bottle. I was like, oh, my God, I'm taking it. £2.99. It's by the brand Three Meals. But it's a gingerbread mulled wine. 
Combining all things festive, this gingerbread mulled wine blends traditional mulled wine flavours of red berries and enhancing warming spices and mouth-watering aromas of freshly baked gingerbread. Serve warm but do not boil. This sounds like a bit of me. So, um, yeah, best believe... Stay tuned in Vlogmases and everything like that because I cannot wait to try this. I might even try it on the 24 hours of Christmas food, like a first impressions. Yeah, because uh, we've got quite a few bottles of uh, normal mulled wine to get through, let's just say. I've got another air freshener, not that we need it, but hey ho, it was the packaging. Cozy Christmas, limited edition Cozy Christmas. But I'm not going to lie, I don't know what it smells like. Should we give it a thing? I just saw the packaging. And I'm going to say for Breeze, a little bit pricey. I think this was about £2. Let's have a look. Now, if you used to say, what does Christmas smell like? That would be it, but I don't know how to describe it. Fresh. <laughs> You're going to think it's really weird. How do you get the vibe of fun from a smell? But I'm getting that scent. I'm getting like a fun vibe. I like that. Hey ho, it's only Christmas once a year. And the last thing I've got. Oh, oh my goodness, I do apologise. Now, I got one of these last month. And I was going to give it to Dada. But it's in his box. And then I saw this one. I'm like, now I don't know. I want one. I want to have one. And I want to get Dada one. So we can have like matching beer tank cards. But... I need to check his one because I don't know which message that I got for his. I'm hoping I haven't got two of the same. These were one ninety nine. If you know anyone who loves a beer and wants a nice gift, proper glass tank card. It says it's the most wonderful time of the beer. I can't remember what the other one said last month. I'm going to have to have a look in the bag for Dad's bits. But yeah, I thought this was really nice. I mean, uh, maybe not classy to be drinking beer in Christmas, but hey, home. I can, I can fill it with a bit of shandy. With a Christmas straw. Oh, yes. Yes, that is a bit of me. Oh, my lovelies. Safe to say my room is blooming covered. But that is Christmas at home bargains. Done for 2022. <laughs> so, my lovelies. Can you believe another 12 home bargains done? How quick has this year gone? But how many good bargains have we had? We have had a lot. And let me think. Squeaky chairs back. Ay, ay, ay. Um, yeah, I am very, very sad to be like, this is the last one for 2022. But here I say that and I'm like, roll on for 2023. You will never get rid of Home Bargains for me. Home Bargains is the one bargain shop I go to every month without a doubt. I tend to alternate between maybe like, b &M or Cherries. Panland, I think I'm really only going to do on occasions like Easter and that because I was really unimpressed with Panland. Just for their pricing, I feel you get so much more at b &M and Home Bargains. Um, savers, I want to bring Savers back a bit next year. We've just had a large one open near us and I love it. Mum blooming loves Savers. So I might try and introduce that. If there are any other bargain shops, whether they be online or in-store, let me know. Some of them, however, we don't have down south. There's one, I think, a food place, Heron Foods, which the prices look blooming fantastic, but there's nowhere near us within miles. And I'm not talking a few miles, like miles and miles. So, yeah, let me know if there's any places where you go for your bargains. But I don't like saying goodbye to home bargains. You have been a blast. I mean, and you literally look like you've blasted my room because there was home bargain stuff everywhere. <laughs> We've gone out on a bang, haven't we, mate? We have gone out on a blooming bang. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit of this haul? So our Christmas one. What has been something that if you thought of Shan and home bargains, what do you remember? Is it the drinks or... If you're an OG and you've been with me a few years, there's been a drink that I can't get anymore, but I used to get a drink for 19p that if I saw that, I was buying that in bulk. If you remember that, let me know down below. The word of the video. We've got to do a word of the video, haven't we? What, what's it going to be? No, that's rude. We can't do that. Nutcracker, we'll do Nutcracker. Nutcracker is the video of the word. No, it's not. It's the word of the video. <laughs> 
I mean, I know it's the last one, but we're still back here as ever, aren't we, my lovelies? Take care. Stay safe as always. I will see you tomorrow for another haul. Again, we're ending out these hauls on traditions, but I think you're going to enjoy this one. Let's say goodbye. Bye, guys. Thank you.